Bill Stoppard, Stride Landing. All right, John here, Shop Task YYC. Yay, good to be back. Okay, we're gonna conclude our Bill Stopper breakdown now with a look at the Bill Stopper landing technique. I've kind of dubbed this a stride landing. Now, generally speaking, I'm a proponent of landing backwards. If you're jumping anything big, if you can land backwards and feel comfortable in a backwards skating position, you just had a more of a mechanical advantage of landing. Just based on the flexion of our ankles and the bend of our knees, you can absorb impacts better. However, right, keeping in the flow of the skating, it's really important to be able to land forward. When we land forward uh, on bigger wheels, so not necessarily aggressive skates, although it does come into play there, on bigger wheels, 80 millimeters and above, say, uh, you wanna be able to absorb that impact by transferring that energy into the edges of the skates. So as you land, you're gonna use your edges to distribute that energy instead of absorbing it. And now you can use that energy to generate kind of a, a push or a stride, however you wanna do that. Greg Mirazon, you see, uh, and I talked about this in the Greg Mirazon breakdown, we see him using a lot of double inside edges kind of landing into a swivel or a bubble lemon drop, whatever you want to call it. Essentially landing inside edges and having his feet scoot out to the sides, carving a big bubble, bringing them back underneath them. So absorbing the impact that way. Bill Stoppard uses more of a stride. So instead of both feet coming out, he's on one center edge, one inside edge, and then right into a beautiful stride. Now I talked to Bill Stoppard about this. So let's listen to Bill Stoppard uh, in his own words, talk about his own landing technique. But my landings are something that have bothered me in the past where I, I land some stairs and since I've been doing the video I notice at the bottom it's almost like a like a telemark landing where one leg is, is dragging behind and the other one is supporting and I, that comes from uh, when I'm jumping stairs or gaps it's almost always I'm jumping onto the sidewalk and at the end of that sidewalk is a road so I the second I'm done jump, jumping something big I'm thinking about decelerating but it does bother me because I think there's a lot more to be gained by landing squarely on both feet. Whether one's ahead of the other wouldn't bother me, but I would like to stomp it out a little bit more when I land. Yeah, it's, well, what I like about what your landing technique is, like you disperse like the energy so well and you're not like putting like a jarring, like you're not like stomping into the ground and just like absorbing all that shock with your joints, you're like, kissing the ground with your right foot and it's almost like a gentle push, almost into like a T-push position, but uh, uh, your left leg seems to be like doing the majority of the balance when you land that way. I sound like a really smart lander. Okay, so let's look at Bill Stoppard now performing some of his excellent landings. Now the first clips here, skating around a plaza and we're gonna see Lots of nice little drops and jumps. And you'll notice every time, right into a stride, right there. Drops again, right into a stride, every time. Now, because one foot is striding, that requires excellent balance on one leg. So most people will find that they have a favorite leg that they use most of the time. You see Bill, most of the time is balancing on that left leg. Right, and perfect example there. He drops the stairs, uses that, um, kind of stride landing, and then right into a drag stop to control his speed. Really, really cool. Here on a bigger jump, right? He's again onto that stride. And this is the one we should watch again. That was fantastic. What I really like about that is just, you see how it keeps him in the flow of his stride. Over, kisses the ground, and right into a stride. So no hesitation on the landing whatsoever. Okay, so here's me attempting my best stride landing. Gotta work on this, I must say, like I said, I, I'd much rather land backwards, but Bill brings up a good point. Keeping in the flow, especially if something's unpredictable, you don't know what's ahead of you, landing backwards isn't always the best choice. Landing forward, so here I go. And I find I felt very little impact. It felt quite natural. My left leg is a bit stronger than my right leg, so I did it most with my left. This one is balancing on my right leg. 
and it felt not bad. I wasn't feeling any of the shock that I normally get. Now, I did find here when I took it to a bigger set, I wasn't able to smooth it out. I ended up dragging my leg behind me. And you see that happen to Bill a little bit in his videos too. So I think that landing does have its limitations. On a bigger set, you know, you really, really in those cases want to be able to land backwards for a nice smooth landing. The forward landing on those ones, it's really hard to make it a nice smooth landing. Okay, thanks again for watching. So next on deck, um, I have a video on the magic slide, another great stopping technique, one that I've been playing around with for a couple weeks, and uh, I'm so excited about it. It wasn't something I'd done a lot of. Uh, it was something I'd done, but not a bit in a big way. And now that I've been putting some time in and practicing it, it's so much fun. It's a great move, it works great. Uh, and Greg Mirazon uses it a lot and he's an expert at it and he uses it in just like the most dangerous situations. But I feel like if you get master it, it's one that uh, we can all use. So stay tuned for that one. Thank you again for your support. Namaste. Life is good. Let's go skate.